Hello, this is a video of uh, a stock rover I made and ship that brings it to the moon. Uh, right now I'm just showing the ship. And we go to launch and it's uh, all... Uh, all liquid fuel tanks so there's no uh, solid boosters and um, they'll fire at the same time for liftoff right now I'm just putting up the landing gear um, there are those will be the wheels for the rover but we don't really want those open right now and um, I'm just testing um, the landing gear and the wheels on the rover just to make sure they open and close uh, how I want them to. And I'm going to uh, fast forward time or warp. Uh, and since there's no solid boosters, you can uh, warp time when you're taking off without them um, sort of glitching out. Because I often had that problem whenever I use time acceleration with solid rockets. Uh, they would explode and crash into the ship and stuff, but there's none of that on this ship and pretty much every other ship I make now because ever since you could uh, place fuel tanks on uh, radial decouplers, um, I've barely ever used them, so most of my ship designs aren't like that. And we just ejected the first stage. And I'm here, I started to turn a little bit. So we're going to go for an orbit at uh, 90 degrees instead of the other way. Because that's just how I always do it You might notice I have quite a few things in orbit right now. I think three or four ships and quite a bit of debris. And a lot of my uh, missions often run into clouds of debris. Well, not run into them, but you can see them just passing by very faintly in the distance. And a few times in this video I checked to see if I could actually see the debris, but I don't think I ever could. And when I was uh, doing my orbit, I waited a little too long and passed my apoapsis, so My orbit, well, I didn't do it the best, I guess, but it uh, worked out fine anyway.
Uh, so we have a small orbit, or low orbit, it doesn't have to be very high, and we're just going to wait uh, for the moon to come over the horizon to make our, our burn. And here I pause because I just go, um, I want to go eat. Uh, you may notice that the ship isn't very maneuverable. It's kind of hard to turn around. Um, you can use some of the RCS if you wanted to, but I like to save as much as I can for the rover itself because that's what you use to uh, propel the rover. And the more fuel you get, or the more fuel you have when you get to the moon, the longer you can drive around and the further you can go. And there's the moon uh, just above the horizon, so we're going to uh, make our burn. Okay, so we're going to be caught by the moon's gravity.
And this is also sort of doubling as my uh, video of how to get to the moon, because I was going to make one, but never did. And um, a, lot of, a lot of other people did, so I never really bothered, but I thought uh, maybe landing a stock rover on the moon might be a little different. And we're caught by the moon's sphere of influence, so uh, we're now falling towards the surface. And here I'm burning a little bit to straighten out my descent. So I fall straight down and not do a little curved orbit sort of thing around the moon, which um, can be annoying when you're trying to land and you're still moving sideways. And you probably noticed just there the um, Windows Media Player uh, button. Uh, that's because I was having some problems editing this video. So I had to, or this uh, clip of the video. So, but it was still letting me watch it fine. So what I had to do was record the video so I could edit the recorded the recording of the video so there there's probably a drop in quality here and we uh, made our burn back there to slow us down we ejected the uh, that stage and now we have the lander and we're going to uh, make some final burns to slow us down. And I deployed the landing gear and also the rover's wheels. And a lot of the time uh, for me, when I used this design, uh, it sort of tipped over onto the rover's wheels. Um, I'm assuming the wheels sort of add a little extra weight on that side. Because it usually tips over that way, which isn't really a problem, since it's a one-way trip anyway, so it's not like if they damage their ship, they're not leaving, they're just not leaving anyway. 
and usually the rover is perfectly fine. But that didn't happen this time. I actually managed to land it uh, straight up, which was good. And we landed. We lost a leg, but that's not important. So now I'm going to uh, separate the rover and put it on its wheels. And we're going to drive a little bit away from the lander. So the ran the ran the lander is perfectly fine. Or sorry, not the lander, the rover is uh fine. And uh uh right now I'm just uh pressing B to brake. Uh for the, the that's B is the brake button and if you hold down B it'll keep you still so you won't like roll down hills and stuff. Which is useful because I landed on a a bit of a slope here. Um and that's probably as far as I'm gonna go uh this in this video I'll I'm oh, 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 I, I can't. I'm not great at commentaries sorry about that I'm going to uh, probably make a video driving around on the surface with the rover to show how well it drives and it can go pretty fast if you uh, pay attention so it doesn't crash and die So that's uh, it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more KSP videos. And uh, thanks. Bye.